Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, we will be talking about how much RAM you need for your Chromebook in 2021. Now, I did a video last year about how much RAM you need, um, but you seem to need to do this every year now because there's always different information on the internet. Lately, it's been saying you need eight gigabyte of RAM for a Chromebook. That's true to some extent, but it's not completely true. So we're gonna go over that right now. So if you're looking to buy a budget Chromebook in 2021, and what I mean by that is a Chromebook with an Intel Celeron processor, then a Chromebook with four gigabyte of RAM is still perfectly fine in 2021. An Intel Celeron processor doesn't need more than four gigabyte of RAM. So if you're looking for excellent value for money, which Chrome OS is well known for, and a Chromebook that uses Chrome OS, well known for giving good value for money. So if you're looking for a Chromebook and your money is more important to you, as in you don't want to spend too much, then buying a budget Chromebook with an Intel Celeron processor with four gigabyte of RAM is absolutely fine in 2021. Nothing's changed since last year or the year before. Last year you could use Android apps on a Chromebook. It's exactly the same this year. The internet's not changed dramatically. How you stream videos on YouTube's not changed dramatically. So don't think for a second that if, if you've seen stuff on the internet saying you definitely need eight gigabyte of RAM. No, you don't. Not if you want a budget Chromebook. However, that being said, if you are looking for a Chromebook that isn't a budget Chromebook, and by that what I mean is a Chromebook with an Intel M3 processor onwards, then you will be will be better if you've got more RAM. For example, I've got an Intel M3 Chromebook with four gigabyte of RAM, and I've got an Intel M3 Pixel Slate with eight gigabyte of RAM. And of course, the Pixel Slate with eight gigabyte of RAM performs better, so it will help your computer perform more. And that's the only real reason why you would need to go for eight gigabyte of RAM. So I think reason why everybody's now saying, oh, you definitely need eight gigabyte of RAM, which is true if you want to go for a higher spec Chromebook, and that's anything from Intel M3, Intel M5, Intel i3, Intel i5, Intel i7, all of them are higher spec Chromebooks. It's true, ideally you want to go for eight gigabyte of RAM. And the reason I think this is being more seen as it's essential now is because the auto update expiry. If you brought a Chromebook for in 2020 onwards and it had the latest hardware, as in the processors, Intel, 10th generation onwards, then that would mean it has at least eight years of automatic updates from Chrome OS. So that is one, I think, one of the reasons why it's been said that you do definitely need eight gigabyte of RAM. But if you're buying a budget Chrome, but with an Intel Celeron processor, yes, okay, if it's using the latest processor, it will get updates for eight years. But you know, it, 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 I wouldn't be put off buying a budget Chromebook just because it's got four gigabyte of RAM, because that's the reason why you're buying the Chromebook. Nothing dramatically is going to change in the next few years. The internet, the Chromebook is an internet-based computer. Yes, it uses Android apps. Yes, it uses Linux apps. If you're using Linux apps, then you should be looking for a Chromebook with eight gigabyte of RAM anyway. Android apps, there's some argument that yes, some Android apps you would need a gigabyte of RAM, and I do get that to some extent, but not all Android apps. Some, a lot of Android apps will still work with four gigabyte of RAM. So if you're looking to buy a Chromebook in 2020 and you want a budget Chromebook, then do not think for a second it needs to have a gigabyte of RAM. But if you see a Chromebook and it is quite a budget price and it's got an Intel M3 processor, if it comes with four gigabyte of RAM, that's still fine, but if you can get it with eight gigabyte of RAM, then definitely go for it because you will see the better performance from that. So I think that's really the difference. It's what you're looking for. You can still buy a budget Chromebook in 2021 with four gigabyte of RAM and you'll have absolutely no problems streaming the internet, using social media, streaming YouTube movies, using Word or um, Google Sheets. So they're the Google based um, office suite for that, using slides, you'll have no problems whatsoever. If you're then going to go to Android apps because you want to use Microsoft Office, so Excel, Microsoft Word, then yes, maybe you might not like 
four gigabyte may struggle a little bit if you had a massive spreadsheet. So I can understand that because it's an Android app, so it would most likely be using more of your memory locally. But if you're using stuff like Google Sheets and a good to Google Word processor, um, a lot of that is server side, so it, it won't necessarily use a lot of your hardware anyway. So yes, of course, get an eight gigabyte Chromebook if you want to get a mid-range or a high-spec Chromebook. I would try and avoid getting a four gigabyte if you can. Does it mean it won't work? It just means that you're paying for something that's got a mid-spec or a high-spec processor, but you're gonna be let down by the RAM maybe in the future. So definitely for that case. But for a budget Chromebook, you're still absolutely fine. If it's got Intel Celeron processor, to go the Chromebook with four gigabyte of RAM in 2021. So I hope that has covered everything you need to know about how much RAM you need in a Chromebook in 2021. I'm sure I'll be doing another video next year about exactly the same subject. Who knows, things may change, but I can't imagine it will do. Not if you're after a budget Chromebook. If you're after high spec, yes. We might even be saying, you need 16 gigabyte, who knows? We'll have to wait and see what happens. Okay, so I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Thanks for watching.